Welcome to Studios Inc. My name is Courtney Wasson and I'm the Executive Director. Today we'll be continuing our new Crit on the Block program. This program was designed to engage students with works of art. Through this engagement, we will also build discussion points. And finally, encourage students to engage in reflective writing. We will continue to look at works found in Studios Inc. 2020. This is an exhibition featuring all of the artists currently in our residency program. Studios Inc. in Kansas City provides mid-career artists with studio space, as well as exhibition opportunities, such as the group exhibition Studios Inc. 2020. Today we'll be looking at three different works by the artist Lori Ray Erickson. Lori Ray Erickson is in her second year of the residency program. She is a multidisciplinary artist. That means that Lori Ray Erickson works in different mediums, such as painting, sculpture, printmaking, mixed media, and so on. The works that we'll be looking at today are two paintings and a sculpture. We'll start with the paintings. The paintings are pink on the left and blue on the right. Let's begin by talking about formal qualities. As we learned when you looked at Patty Carroll's photograph, the formal qualities consist of what the painting or the artwork looks like. So when we look at the paintings pink and blue, one of the first things we notice is color. When we keep looking at the painting, we also see that there are some figures in the painting. These figures are the subject of the painting. Now keep looking around the painting. Do you see texture and different shapes that surround the figures of the girls on the left? What do they look like? Are they soft? Do they look like something that's familiar to you, such as a cloud? How about the boy on the right? What surrounds him? What shapes do those remind you of? Are they angular, like that of a triangle or a rectangle? When you look at pink on the left and blue on the right, we're also noticing a lot of opposites. The first opposite that is pretty apparent is pink on the left is predominantly the color blue, and the artwork titled blue on the right is predominantly pink. That's an opposite. Let's look for more opposites. Now, pink on the left, the subject is two girls. Opposite of blue on the right, where the subject is a young boy. What other opposites do you notice when you look at these two paintings? These two paintings are hung side by side in the gallery. So when a viewer comes to look at them, they look at them in relationship to each other. What do you think about when you think of a relationship? A relationship is something that connects us. We have relationships with our friends and family. We also have relationships to objects as well as different concepts. Are boys expected to be tough and are girls expected to take care of others? Do you see that presented in Lori Ray Erickson's paintings? What is the young girl doing? What relationship does color have to the subjects of the painting? Now let's look at Lori Ray's Made in the USA. This is interesting because it's a sculpture. A sculpture is a three-dimensional object made by an artist. Lori Ray Erickson's sculpture titled Made in the USA is a vintage high chair that has been wrapped in a heavy metal. This specific metal is lead. And on the tray of the high chair is a single lead pacifier. The chair is really heavy, more so than a normal high chair. 
The subject of a high chair connects us to ideas of parenting and to that of childhood. Now that you've had some time to look at and think about these three pieces by Lori Ray Erickson, I would encourage you to engage in our reflective writing exercise. Remember, your opinion is not wrong, but work to tell us the why behind your opinion and the because of it. I sincerely hope that soon you'll be able to join us at Studios Inc. and view these works in person. Until then, please stay safe and stay healthy. Thank you.